Hi Libra, I hope you're all doing well. We're gonna get into your general reading and see what spirit has to say to you. I'm gonna pull out two cards from this oracle deck to see what energies are supporting you at this time as well as what energies are presenting a challenge. And then we'll get into the tarot cards and do the general spread. This is a general message here on YouTube so it may not resonate with you. Probably parts will. If some parts don't, that's okay. Just don't take them, leave them alone. Don't be bothered by it. <laughs> or you can just click off, whatever you wanna do. Gemini, I'm hearing Libra, interesting. Maybe you're dealing with a Gemini. Okay, I'm hearing maybe you wanna borrow energy from Gemini, I don't know. They are a fellow air sign. Maybe something needs to change here in the way you've been thinking about something or something is changing. Okay, let's see. What energies are supporting Libra at this time? If this reading does resonate with you, there will be an extended, and you can find that link in the description box below. What energies are supporting you? Mm, I don't know. I saw upheaval and dominance there, but let's, let's have them fall out on the table, Spirit. What energies are supporting Libra? That's so much. I'm seeing protection at the bottom. Distraction, survival, wrath, and insight. Oh, Libra, are you realizing that somebody is vengeful? Somebody has some anger issues here? Perhaps you've been distracted for some time trying to get your life on track, trying to get things together for yourself. You've been kind of hiding out, tucked away, self-preservation mode. But there's somebody that's a little bit manipulative or clever in some way here um, that you're having some insights about. Yeah, I feel like maybe you this was right in front of your face and maybe you ignored it or you haven't wanted to look at it or you've simply been distracted. So perhaps upheaval and dominance are also part of this energy, okay? Now this is supporting you, your insights into this person's anger, their wrath. Uh, I wasn't planning on it, but I do feel guided here to look at what they say about wrath in the book. So let's see here. Wrath adds another element to anger, the element of revenge. It's not just enough for the offender to know that you are angry. They must also feel or experience that anger in some way. Wrath asks you to consider the energy that you are creating from your anger. Is it one that will, in the end, create a positive change in the relationship? Or are you creating resentment that fuels the desire for future revenge? Although it may have been a single event that caused the energy of anger to present itself, it is through wrath that the anger mutates and splinters, creating a breakdown in the relationship and negative emotions. Okay, I don't know if this is your energy or somebody else's. I always assume that uh, whoever is watching is in a high vibration. <laughs> I like to believe that and trust in that. Okay, so I am going to talk about this as it, it's somebody else's energy. However, if it does feel like you are in this place right now of maybe seeking revenge or feeling really angry, there's nothing wrong with anger and feeling that emotion. Uh, so just translate the message here. Now, there is something wrong with revenge. I will say that, okay? <laughs> so just translate this message in whatever way you need to for it to make sense for you, okay? If everything's peachy keen and this isn't resonating, that's cool. It's just not your reading. Okay. Ten of Swords at the bottom. Somebody it has revenge on their mind, perhaps. I'm hearing how silly, how silly of them. How silly of them. Mm. Revenge never really works out for people. And well, karmically, definitely not, right? <laughs> yeah, Nine of Swords. Usually the person who takes revenge on someone else finds them in this state in one way or another. Either they're haunted by the actions that they've done, those actions follow them around for some time, or it, it, 
the energy they put out manifests in a different form and comes back to bite them in the ass. That's how that usually works. You know, somebody can think they're they're doing something and walk away, you know, light a match, throw it, watch something explode and walk away and be like, ah, got them, no harm for me. But in reality, this is what happens, whether it's immediate or down the line. You know, I've seen it myself many times, okay, when people act um, vengefully or they get revenge on someone, ten of wands. It doesn't turn out well, nine of swords again, for that person. Okay, so spirit guides, wow, what a message. We'll do two more shuffles and then we'll get into the general tarot spread. Now, so when somebody is um, seeking revenge, it usually comes from a place of feeling hurt, wounded, some pain. It's a projection of one's pain onto another, wanting someone else to feel how hurt that they, how hurt they are, how much pain they're in. Okay, but by projecting it outwards onto another, you only multiply the pain. You don't actually remove it from yourself. It just multiplies it. Libra. What's going on for Libra spirit? We'll do three shuffles and then we'll cut the deck. For Libra. It's at the bottom. Queen of Swords. Page of Cups in reverse. Perhaps... Hmm. You drew a, a line with someone or a hard line was drawn in the sand, I'm hearing. That's enough. <laughs> the line has been drawn. There was some, th some truth that you felt about the situation here. And you, you, you already sensed that maybe you needed to protect yourself. So you drew a line. Your overall energy, temperance in reverse. Three of wands in reverse. Nine of cups in reverse. Wow, are these all in reverse? Except the last one, which is the outcome. Okay. So there's some blocked energy here, or you're being very guarded about your energy. So let's see, temperance in reverse for your overall energy. This card always reminds me of the Two of Cups here. In reverse, it feels like you're releasing something, okay? What was once put together, temperance is a card of alchemy as well. What, what, what was once, you know, um, combined, I'm hearing, energies mixing or something was very interlocked. Uh, you're definitely releasing that. I want to get some of these cards here just to give me some context. Spirit, can you help guide me a little bit more in this reading? What do I need to know here about this situation? Where is this happening for Libra? What is this all about here? This could have been something that happened in the summer here, I'm seeing. The summer, fall time. Um, or maybe that's when you're thinking about releasing something. Or someone could have a summer birthday. I'm also seeing the 12th house. So the 12th house is about illusions. Um, Self-sabotage as well. Tell me about the revenge a little bit more. You could have also been distracting someone to avoid someone's wrath and revenge as a form of survival here. I'm just seeing that. Okay. We have the moon here. There's definitely some illusions and misconceptions here about what's happened. 
Somebody's not seeing something clearly. Okay, what's the insight? What's the insight here? We have the second house. So this could be, and we have Neptune at the bottom. This could be about uh, money, security. There could also be a Taurus involved here or Taurus energy. But there's some insight that you have about your own security or someone's security, someone's finances, your finances. It could also be car something about the karma in a relationship or a connection since the south node is in uh, Scorpio. I was about to say Taurus. The north node is in Taurus. Yeah, so there's some questions about karmic destiny and where you're going. Neptune. Yeah, there's definitely some, with 12th house and Neptune, there's definitely illusions involved in here, confusion, people not seeing things clearly, okay? And usually when somebody wants to exact revenge on someone, they're not thinking clearly because they're not thinking about the consequences or they feel they're immune to consequences. I do want to pull some of these cards here. What else can we say about this for the Libras watching? What do they need to know? Jealous. Jealous and playing it cool, Libra. <laughs> okay. So why is this person jealous? Phone call. Interference. Time. Missing. Smile. Miracle. And eyes. I don't know. It feels like to me somebody might be upset that um, you're in a happy place or it could be you being upset. Take it however. Something about your smile, like you're smiling, you're happy. Um, maybe there's something in your eyes here that this person is seeing and I feel like they're jealous that they're not in that state themselves. Something hasn't worked out, obviously, in this person's favor. At least that's how they feel it. I do feel like we're talking about somebody who's very close to you as opposed to some kind of work situation. This could be a friend, a family member, or a love interest. But it's like they've missed you here for some time. Interference in phone call. What's the interference? Remorse. If you've called this person recently or they've called you, um, it's disrupting the energy in some way. Okay, um, let's get into the rest of the reading. I feel like we might be going down a specific path. So tell me more about this temperance energy. Libra releasing. King of Wands, taking action to release here, Build, building your own fire, I'm hearing, with justice in reverse, right? It's like justice may not be happening in a particular situation, so you're creating your own justice here, and I feel like that justice is no longer bringing something together, releasing something. Maybe this isn't what you wanted to happen here. Yeah, maybe you were looking for something different, something new to happen, but it doesn't seem to be happening. So you are taking control of the situation. Three of want, which is leaving someone else feeling out of control. Okay, I feel. So what's going to surprise you? Three of wands in reverse. Some vision that you've been having of something maybe that was, maybe you were anticipating somebody unleashing their wrath on you. Whatever this is, whatever you've been envisioning happening in this situation with this person, it's not going to play out that way. Tell me why. Knight of Swords in reverse and the Hermit in reverse. This is the energy here of just... Um, so many cards in reverse. This is the energy of someone kind of completely disappearing, like emotionally blocking themselves off, mentally blocking themselves off from the situation, just kind of totally disappearing energetically. 
I feel like you anticipated someone to come out from hiding with the hermit. You know, they've been quiet. You anticipated them to come out, guns a blazing, swords a swinging, you know, saying something. But it looks like, at least at this point, that that is not going to happen. So maybe for some of you, you've been fearful of someone taking revenge on you. And at this point in the reading, we're, we're going to see where we go, but it, it feels like that's not going to happen. We'll, fi we'll find out why. Maybe it's because this person has had some insight that's changed things for them. Interesting. I know if you've been on my channel before and you watched the last reading I did for the collective, I talked about like keeping manifestations in a mason jar and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and this is reminding me of that here as the insight. Maybe someone's gaining some insight in what you were trying to do in a situation. I don't know. Okay, let's see. What's going to end? Nine of cups in reverse. I, I'm hearing sheer unhappiness. This could also be overindulging, drinking addictions, or... Um, I'm hearing repetitive thought processes that bring you emotional pain or bring some, this could be their energy, bring someone emotional pain. This is ending. I feel like the person that you're dealing with, the revengeful energy might have been um, with all that Neptune and 12th house energy coming out, been under some kind of influence of something toxic, maybe some kind of, I don't know, something something clouding them their their thinking and their thought yeah their thinking escaping in some way here into some kind of fantasy i feel as well the fool this energy here is having a new beginning a, a realization here or something new is happening in their life that's shifting their energy shifting their direction there, there's something here about someone who was really, really down and maybe dependent on something, but like really negative, okay, and overindulging as a form of distraction, having, um, being, feeling uplifted, having a new focus in their life in some way. Eight of Wands, new energy has come into their life. And I feel like this person didn't really think that was going to happen for them. Interesting reading, Libra. Okay, let's see. What is beginning? Four of Swords in reverse. Let's see. What is this Four of Swords in reverse? Page of Wands. Ten of Wands in reverse. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. You're going to find out that somebody's released some energy. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Look at this release. They've released some energy in relationship to whatever's going on. They're going to tell you in some way. You're going to find this out with the Page of Wands. Like, they're no longer carrying the weight here of something. They realize that they're keeping themselves stuck in a past cycle. Yeah. It's interesting here. How do you feel about this, Libra, that somebody is releasing this energy? You know, I'm going to have to title this properly, I, I feel, carefully. Anyways, um, hmm, maybe there's something about that, writing something carefully. But how do you feel about this person releasing negative intentions towards you and having a new beginning somewhere? Does that make you feel good? Does it bring you reassurance? Are you happy for it? This is something that you might want to think about how that makes you feel. Okay, because I am feeling, and it's not for everyone, okay? So if you don't feel like this, that's okay. But I am feeling someone here almost being like not knowing what to do now. Ace of Wands, like in reverse here. It's like, okay, well, nothing's going to happen. So what, what now? What do I do now? Or Yeah, it's like... Not disappointment that there is not this. It's not like you're disappointed there is no revenge, but it's like 
so what now? What's going to happen now? And what's going to happen now, Libra, is you're going to have to find a way to release the energy yourself that you've been carrying in relationship to this. And you have been carrying some energy in relationship to this or we wouldn't be having this reading. Okay, so your advice is the hanged one in reverse. This is getting off that tree here. You know, in this deck, the hanged one, the hangman, sees the world upside down, which makes sense because the hangman is upside down. So it's like you have also not been seeing things right side up. Clearly, because I feel like you're surprised that this person isn't going to be vengeful towards you. Okay, so you haven't been seeing something totally clear. And Spirit's asking you to cut yourself free from any illusions here and see things how they actually are. Yeah. Okay, so anything else here for the advice? Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Yeah, it's time to now shift your focus on your happiness, Ten of Cups, and, and think about what it is you want to work on. Can you release this energy? How will you do that? Okay, what's going to manifest in the next three months? We have the Hierophant with the wise one here in the upright. The only card to be upright in your spread is in the future. Everything related to this is blocked energy, stuck energy, confused energy, not seeing things clearly, that kind of thing. In the future, with the Hierophant, you know what the lesson was here. You have some great wisdom about something. This is also Taurus energy, the second house, your security, your safety. All of that kind of stuff is um, concretized, I'm hearing, solidified. You're feeling better about something here. You're able to teach others or you realize that somebody taught you a lesson maybe, okay? And oftentimes these situations with you know, karmic partners or soulmates or whatever, they teach us great lessons. You know, I've been on the receiving end of revenge in my life and it taught me lots of lessons about myself, right? Not necessarily about the other person, <laughs> you know, not necessarily, maybe sometimes, but it taught me more about myself. Yeah, and I feel like there is definitely here a lesson for you about yourself queen of cups exactly looking within self-love how how does one even get themselves in a situation with another energy that seeks revenge how does one even do that you know it's we always have to bring it back to ourselves and take responsibility. Did we do something in a relationship or in a partnership that, you know, um, created the energy where the other person felt justified to seek revenge? Did we do something to hurt someone? You know, not saying that revenge is justified, but we need to take accountability for maybe what we did. Or if you didn't do anything wrong, why are we not able to see that that person is capable of hurting us on such a deep level? Um, why weren't we capable of seeing that? Why did we get involved with that person? You know, there's a lesson there. And it's interesting because it looks like there is no revenge. It's not going to happen. Has it crossed that person's mind? Yes, I believe so. Is it going to happen? It doesn't look like it. Not now. Not in this energy right now. So what is the lesson there in that for you when you think somebody is going to seek revenge on you and it doesn't happen? What projections were you putting onto that person? You know? It's big, it's big stuff here. It's not easy. The sun. But bringing awareness here to your own emotions and what's going on inside of you is a huge deal the star. You are going to heal from this, Libra, okay? This energy is shifting. It's changing. It's being released. So I'm going to go into the extended, and we'll look a little bit further. We'll get another layer. 
But if this is where you go, I love you so much. Thank you for being brave and listening to this message, and I'll see you next time.